Hello humans, welcome back to my makeup room. My name is Martha and today we're going to do the second update for my Beauty A to Z project pan. The creators and all the info about this project will be linked down below. And stay tuned for this makeup look. We'll be coming live to the channel someday soon. Now let's get right into it. I have seven empties to share with you. B. Good Molecules Caffeine Energizing Hydrogel Eye Patches. All gone. I probably had about 15 uses left in this. Let's got it done. The Nexus Pure and Clean Scalp Scrub. Nice and cleaned out. The First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. I marked it on the side of the tub. We started about halfway last time. We did not have very many left. And I was able to finish them all. The Embryolis Le Creme Concentré. Uh, let's see here. It's a little smushed, but we started up way up here. Last month we were down here, and then I used up all the rest of it. I even used my little, I think it's called a, um, I don't know if it's for paint or for hair dye. It's a little crimper and it squeezes all the product down to the bottom. Very handy for beauty products and also uh, these metal tubes of like mustard. Very useful. My Aveeno Hand Cream. Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. We started up way up here. At the last update, we were here. And we used it all up. Very good. My Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt Cologne. We started out nice and full. Last update, we were about halfway. Now it's all gone, and this had nine mils. And our final empty, the Ciate Everyday Vacay Setting Spray. We started up entirely full. Last update, we were halfway through, and now we're all gone. This setting spray, I flew through this. This had 75 mils, and the Mister, I felt like I had to use a lot because the mister. Ooh. Hmm. It, it, it goes out very evenly, but when you're spraying it on your face, it almost feels like the perimeter is getting most of the spray. So there's still maybe a dribble in here. But it's all gone now. Now let's quickly touch upon the products I did not use. Z for Z palette was my highlighter. I have not used this one. My MAC strobe cream. We are still in the same place as we were before. And that is for S. For V, my Peripera Ink V Shading Bronzer looks the same, have not used. And for Q, the Clinique Glow Butter Foundation, still all the way to the top, still haven't used it. However, I think next month we might be able to break into it because the other foundation is doing well. My Bumble and Bumble BB Curl Pre-Style Primer. We're making steady progress. <laughs> A little bit less than last time, but it's coming along. For D, Diamond Dasher by Kaleidos. This is my highlight. And I've worn off the pattern, the embossing, fairly successfully. And I don't really have like a dip, but it is overall 
less deep. It's very, my dip is spread out throughout a lot of the pan, so it's not like concentrated right in the middle. But we're making our way. E is my Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer. Now this one, a lot of the product is sort of clinging to the side, so it's hard for me to get a good gauge. I've marked it down here, but I think, I think I'm lower. I really need to get this air bubble out so I can get a good read of where I am. I'm changing the mark, I'm changing the mark. Mayday, mayday. I'm calling it down here. We're gonna have to ignore that one. Calling it there. There's still some air in here, so we need to get that air bubble out, but I'm hoping we'll be able to do that soon. But I've been focusing a lot on that primer, so shouldn't be too long. My Marc Jacobs Grapevine for G. That's what we're looking like with the pencil. And those are our markings. So as you can see, pretty pathetic progress this month, but I was taking a bit of a break because in the first month I used it a lot. So I wanted to take a little bit of a break and not all of my eyeshadow looks were coinciding with that eyeliner. So we did do a little bit of progress, but not very much. H is for Hourglass. This is the Ghost Palette and I have met my goal. I have nice pan on this ambient lighting powder and a little pan on this one. And I am happy. I'm rolling this out of the project. I is for my IT Cosmetics CC Cream in an airless pump. It was a mini size. These are all of our markings. And I am so close to being done. I finally found a way to use this where I don't hate it. I'm mixing it with my NYX, NYX Born to Glow foundation. And I find that that just makes this way nicer. It's not as thick and it wears a lot better on my skin. But I'm thinking this should be done within the month. Very excited. My Kevin Aquan Contour Powder. Now I don't know how this picture will compare to the previous pictures, but I think we're making some pretty good progress. As you can see, I think you can see here, my dip is pretty wide. And just this corner seems to be entirely full of product. Yeah, just right in the corners here, our dip spans the whole pan. So that's very good. Working away. M is for my Moringa Renewal Treatment Mask from Emma Hardy. Here are our markings. I am currently right here, and I think I should definitely be able to have this one done this month. I think I can do it. N is for NYX Sandstorm. This thing is getting pretty small. It's not gonna be long now. Let's take a peek at my markings. I've used it about the same amount as I did last month, but I felt like I was using it more. So I don't know. I'm keeping, I'm still chugging along. Probably in the next three months, I will deem it too difficult to use, but we're still going. Next is my Persona Pink Lip Gloss. Now my markings wore off on this one, so I had to sort of guesstimate, but I was for sure right at the top of the intro, and I think I was around here last month, and now I am down to here. So I think I can finish this one off this month. I think we should be good to go. There's not very much left in here. R is for my Revolution Rose Tonic. We started up pretty close to full last month, this month. There we are. Now, I've been using this almost every time I've toned since I finished up the facial radiance pads, but I am 
trying to also use my Pixi Glow Tonic a little bit because this doesn't really do very much. So I'm not using this every time. So I'm thinking if I really buckled down, I could get it used within the next month, but it might be two months. And the last product to update is the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Setting Spray. This is for you. And I finally started using it. We have a tiny, tiny amount of progress. I just started using this within the past couple of days since I finished the Ciate. And I don't know for sure if that mark was, you know, valid, but I made one anyways. So we can start working away on this one. I have no idea how long this is going to take me. My last Urban Decay setting spray took too long. And I don't particularly love this one either, so it might take a while. That is the update for this project. Don't forget to check out all the other creators participating in this project down below. And check out my channel for all of my project pan playlists. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. Ring the bell to become a Pavlovian dog, and I will see you next time. Bye.